Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Anderson and I wanted to dedicate this entire episode to my experience on The Voice to kind of let you in on what we went through as a family uh, and just some of the feelings that we've had uh, going through that. But first, what I want to do is I want to thank everyone at The Voice, the people who make that show what it is. It's an incredible show and everyone who works on the staff was just some of the greatest people I've ever known. So I thank you so much. I'm humbled to be a part of it and so grateful, unbelievably grateful for the opportunity. So thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. And I also want to thank my peers, the people who are on the show with me. What a weird thing it is to be for a month of your life locked in a, in a hotel with some of the people, the greatest talents on the earth. And then what happens is we get under an incredible amount of pressure and stress, and it's the same kind of stress everyone's feeling. So you end up locking arms with people in a way that you never would in any other circumstance in life. And so I want you to know at home, I am so proud of you. I am so proud to know you. You are incredibly gifted, incredibly gifted. Some of the greatest talent I've ever seen. And I want you to know I love you and I'm rooting for you in life. I'm rooting for you on the show. For those of you who made it through, I am just so proud to know you guys. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about what me, my wife, and my two children went through uh, being on The Voice. You know that I didn't make it through, and you know that it was extreme disappointment. I mean, it happens to everybody in life. It may not happen to you in front of millions of people, <laughs> but it does happen in life. And what I wanted to do was share a little bit about how I've processed that thing. The night I was eliminated from the show, I found myself in a ride to a hotel where everyone who didn't make it through went, uh, completely humiliated and feeling deflated and feeling like a loser, which is kind of what I did, I lost. So, uh, getting in the hotel with my wife, my wife and I were just weeping together, we didn't understand what was going on, very confused. I ran into someone in the lobby. It was this, uh, a woman uh, who was the mother of one of the contestants. And she walked up to me, and she knew what was going on in my heart. I know she could feel it. She came up to me and put her arm around me, and then she opened up my hand, and she told me, she said, when God takes something from your hand, he's simply making room for more. And I just started crying. It was an intense moment of understanding, really, that's true. I've not been abandoned. I've not been abused. God is making room for more in my life. And so the more I went on with that, yes, I went home, and yes, I did have a nervous breakdown. Uh, my wife and I just kind of crumbled for a couple weeks. We're over it now. I mean, life is good. God is good. And so we continue on. And I, I see a counselor because I'm, well, driving around in a van all year long by yourself will make you crazy. And so I see this, this woman that I love dearly, and I was sitting in her office with her, and she, I was just kind of complaining, like, why does this happen? Why do bad things happen like this? Why do confusing things happen, and why are we so disappointed? It doesn't make any sense. And I don't understand why God would allow it to happen. Seems like God is cruel, like he's mean, like he doesn't care, right? And she looked at me in the eye, and she said, Jeff, your theology is off. And I was like, oh, how so? you know, and she said, would you ever take something precious and hold it up to your son Caden's face, and as he reached out for it, would you snatch it away to watch him squirm in misery? You know, and I thought, no, of course not. I would never do anything like that to my son. So why would God ever do anything like that to you? Because I truly believe it. That God loves us far more. The love that I have for my son is a drop in the bucket compared to how God feels for you and for me. So he would never do anything to harm me. So don't get down on yourself. Don't let yourself be completely caught up in fear of failure. Keep your head up. Because you have to remember that when God takes something from your hand, he's simply making room for more. Hey, take a second to go to Facebook, like my page, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hey, and also click at the bottom of the screen to view the second part of this Voice Edition blog. I, uh, I took the liberty to record David Gray's song, Babylon, without any pressure this time. Anyway, 
God bless you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in.